एंड फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु हैव नो आइडिया वॉट एग्जैक्टली स्कॉमर्ट के प्लीज लिसन आउट टू मी वेरी केयरफुल Who's getting zero marks? Then you are not going to be assigned with any rank. So anyway, we are going to be MCQs. Okay, there are just MCQs, nothing else. The private engineering colleges of Karnataka. There is one more option to you apart from KCET, and that is the people who get zero marks in Comet K entrance examination. Their rank would not be there. A very big hello to my wonderful Comet K champions. I hope all my dear children are doing absolutely great. So there's an important update from Comet K's end, and that is regarding your eligibility criteria. Or in simple words, we can say uh, it will make you understand whether you are eligible to write this particular entrance examination. And for those of you who have no idea what exactly is Comet K, please listen out to me very carefully. So it's an entrance examination uh, which guarantees your entry into. the private colleges of karnataka now what course ma'am it would be engineering course as of now today i'm talking about engineering they also offer architecture but there is no mention about architecture in this particular video because they have not updated it as of now so we are talking about engineering so if at all you want to get admissions into the private engineering colleges of karnataka there is one more option to you apart from kcet and that is comet k and comet k examination can be written by any one okay any one who is basically an indian citizen or if at all you and you are an overseas citizen of india or you are someone who is who is a person of indian origin so in either of these categories my dear children you can write this examination and apart from that there are certain academic eligibility criteria as also about which we are going to discuss okay i hope that's clear so how do you go and get the eligibility criteria you have to go to uh, comet k's official website now in the official website my dear children if you see over here there is exam details 2026 please click on that and over here you will have a list of things eligibility criteria calendar of events important dates exam centers etc etc please click on eligibility criteria and there are few points written over here read these points compulsorily as of now i'll detail i'll tell you in detail so do not worry so candidates who are indian citizen first thing or overseas citizen of india or person of indian origin can appear for comet k ugt 2000 2026 examination now if at all you are an overseas citizen of india or person of indian origin you would also have to produce some extra documents for verification i hope that is clear now going ahead to be eligible candidates have to appear for comet k entrance exam which will be held on 9th may 2026 if at all you are claiming that i want colleges via comet k you will also have to write the comet k entrance examination which is going to happen on what 9th of may 2026 okay it is going to happen after kcet examination now going ahead the qualifying examinations prescribed for admission for be that is bachelor of engineering or btech is second puc or 10 plus 2 higher secondary listen if you want to write this examination your qualifying examination should be okay you should have basically qualified second puc or you also call this as what 12th grade or equivalent examinations recognized by the state or the central government okay either your second puc or what you call as uh, 12th grade apart from that if there are any other examinations which are recognized by state and central government then that is also fine and over here one more criteria is there that is the last two years of study shall comprise of physics chemistry mathematics and english as compulsory subjects now listen to me here it gets a bit bit uh, tricky so listen to me very carefully so you have passed 12th okay or basically uh, your second puc now the last two years of your study that is your 11th and 12th grade my dear children you should be having certain set of subjects one is physics for short one is mathematics for short and one is english for short now there is one more subject that is chemistry so it can be chemistry or it can be biotechnology or it can be biology or it can be computer science or it can be electronics so over here there are three compulsory subjects and that is the next point that there are three compulsory subject and the subjects are physics mathematics and english physics mathematics and english are compulsory subjects apart from that you should also have either chemistry biotechnology biology or computer science or electronics i hope that is clear right fine 
this should be there in your 11th and 12th grade the last two years of your study these subject combinations should be there now the general merit candidate should have passed with a minimum aggregate of 45 percentage if at all you fall in general category then your total percentile should be at least a minimum of 45 percentage then only you are eligible to write this examination similarly if at all you are from SCST or OBC category of Karnataka state of Karnataka state then my dear children oh, for you the percentage would be 40 percentage okay this is only for for the children of Karnataka state if you are not uh, coming in Karnataka state and you fall under SCST category I don't think it will be applied to you so only the children of Karnataka and who are falling uh, under SCST OBC category the aggregate percentage will be minimum of 40 percentage okay now um, in physics, chemistry and mathematics and should have passed these subjects. Okay, so physics, mathematics and English are compulsory subjects. I already spoke about it along with chemistry or biotechnology or biology, computer science or electronics as one of the optional subjects. However, if at all there are some changes in it by AICTE or VTE, Vishweshwar Technological University, then it will be adopted as well, but it will be known to you. So do not worry. If at all there are any changes, they will let you know as well. Okay, now. Candidates should have passed in all individual subjects including all optional or additional subjects. So every one of you should have passed each of the subjects individually. For example, you should pass physics, you should pass mathematics, pass in mathematics, you should pass in English, you should pass in either of the subjects such as chemistry, biotechnology, biology and the list goes on. So you should pass all the subjects individually as well. Now, all the subjects should be passed from a single board. Okay, it should be passed from a single board. So when we say that we are studying 12th grade from CBC board, all the subjects should be written in CBC board and basically all of them should be passed from the same board. Now suppose you are studying from ICC board, then all the subjects should be passed from ICC board. If at all you are studying from Karnataka board, then all the subjects should be passed from Karnataka board itself. It's not like one subject you are passing from some other board. That is not applicable. Well, there is a very rare chances of that happening, but still I'm telling you. So, all the subjects should be passed from one single board. Marks card from two different boards will not be accepted. Example, a single candidate having marks card of physics and chemistry from CBC and marks card of mathematics from NIOS board is not el eligible. For example, a single candidate has physics and chemistry marks card from CBC and math marks card from some other board. Do you think it's eligible? No, not eligible. Okay, S only a single board should be there. Now, an attempt in the Comet K entrance exam seeking admission to engineering courses is considered educate for figuring in the rank. Okay, if at all you are attempting for that uh, Comet K examination, then yes, your rank would be given out. But if at all you are someone who is going to score zero, who is getting zero marks, then you are not going to be assigned with any rank. So there is no last rank in that, uh, as in the person who had got zero will get the last rank. It's not like that. The people who get zero marks in Comet K entrance examination, their rank would not be there. There won't be any rank assignment out there. Okay, fine. Now that is not going to happen because you guys are really good, right? So if at all, my dear children, if you have not started off your preparation for uh, what do you call uh, for these entrance examination, I'll request you that along with studying for your uh, 12th grade or your second PUC boards, take out little time and solve few questions, few PYQs of these examinations as well. This is going to help you. So anyway, they are going to be MCQs. Okay, there are just MCQs, nothing else. So these MCQs might help you in your MCQ question of whatever board examination that you're going to write. In every board paper, my dear children, there is an MCQ section, so it might help you as well. So, take in that sense and please start solving some questions. Now, uh, diploma candidates are not eligible to take the entrance test as there are no lateral entry. So, all the diploma candidates, if at all you have any doubts, you would not be allowed uh, to write the examination because you are not eligible. There is no lateral entry. Now, one more thing is written OCIO, Overse uh, yeah, Overseas Citizen of India, and PIO. Uh, person of Indian origin candidates have to provide declaration as per annexure A mentioned in the information brochure. So as of now information brochure is not there, it will be coming up and there is annexure A, my dear children, you have to declare that basically you come under OCI or PIO then only you will be able to be able to be eligible for this particular examination. I hope it is super clear now. 
if at all you have any doubts still in your head please not shy away put it down in the comment section all of these doubts are going to be taken into priority and we will be discussing about it so don't worry about anything okay and i hope you remember the dates for applying if at all you do not remember remember it starts from 3rd feb and it's end on basically 16th march so from 3rd feb to 16th march you have a time to fill in your application forms for comet k do not delay it you might uh, get busy with your board examinations as well and if at all there is any kct aspirant out there who is watching this video and if you are someone who is finding it difficult uh, to manage your kct preparation please make sure you take up abhyas kct test series it is a super important test series you have 35 mock test you will get chapter wise kct pyqs as well start solving them okay there will be a timer given to you in 60 minutes you have to solve this is question so you get to know your speed and accuracy also it's not just your knowledge but also your speed and accuracy that is going to be tested in all this competitive examination and over here you will get every uh, subject coverage that is physics chemistry mathematics and biology the pricing for it is rupees 1499 and my dear children i'm telling you so many of the children got the benefit of it we had given abhyas to you uh, earlier this year thinking that you might get the benefit of it or else usually we uh, used to give it post your vote so that we know like uh, it will be the high time where you actually do your preparation but we really want you to prepare in advance that is why we gave to you so if you are wanting it definitely check it out in the link given in the description section and that's all if you have any comet key related doubts and if you think that we can be of any help to you definitely put those doubts also in the comment section and if you want all the updates do not forget to hit the subscribe button Bye-bye. Take care.